Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. Today I have a dump haul and five beautiful trash to treasures from some of those items. First thing is a glass bottle I'm going to be flipping in an autumn video coming up. A large galvanized bucket. A wood bucket with two wood buckets inside of it. Another small galvanized bucket with a chalkboard of sorts a white small crate, a primitive red candle holder, wooden candle holder with some stars, a white tote bag, a flat basket with a floral in it, a cutting board worse for wear. I'll be doing that in an upcoming video as well. This cute small wooden bowl and two little wood pieces that somebody had cut out to make an animal and had never finished. This beautiful little cabinet and then two amazing um, metal tool holders, one red and one green that I'm going to flip. These came out phenomenal. I absolutely love how these look. So I am going to start the first trash to treasure with one of those, the red one. I'm not a fan of red. Um, it was worse for wear. I cleaned it real good as best I could. And then I took this Robin's Egg Blue spray paint that I had on hand. I taped the silver latch so that I wouldn't paint over it. And then I just gave that a couple coats of the Robin's Egg Blue. I didn't want it to be, too, I wanted to be able to close it. So I had to be careful not to put too much paint on it. And then peeled off that tape. And that was a great starting point for this transfer that I had picked up at the dollar store um, sometime earlier in the year. And so I decided to take this and cut it in half and use bits and pieces of this. It already had a little bit of this pretty robin's egg blue color in it. So I played with several items that I had, not only on that transfer, but a couple different transfers to see which words or which florals or what have you that I would be using on this. And I decided to separate um, that wreath and even to cut some of the other pieces off of it so that it would fit that. So I transferred this first piece on and it has a white background. I wish that it didn't. Um, that's the only thing about this transfer that I'm not crazy about. Um, so I tried to hide a little bit of that by adding a couple pieces and make it look a little bit more natural here and there where it didn't really look exactly the way that I was hoping that it would. But once I got these two transferred on, then I burnished those down and then I found, I love the bird. I've been wanting to use the little bird. I was hoping to use it with the bird page, but it just didn't fit. So I just did that and then I added a word and a little bit more of the florals and then this one was finished. I believe I will probably go back over this with a white wax to see if that makes a difference with the white background at some point in the future. Um, but for now, this is how it came out and I do love it with some of these other items that I have in my home. And um, these just are just something I've been looking for, these uh, metal toolboxes or I've never been able to find them before so I'm really glad that I did. The second one was this little metal, uh, wooden bowl and I just fixed the crack with some wood filler. Once that was dry I sanded that and I took out my vintage linen colored chalked paint and gave that two good coats all over this bowl. And now once that is dry, I decide that I'm going to give a similar look to that little, I'm going to say sheep. It looks like a sheep to me. Could be a cow, I suppose. Um, could be a sheep's head and a cow's body. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But in any case, I think that it's cute. So I gave the bowl as well as the sheep a couple of coats of that paint. Now, once that is fully dry for both of these, I also painted the cutting board. I had to sand that cutting board using about five or six sanding pads before I could get the marks off of it. And I am going to flip the cutting board in a 
uh, future video. Actually, I'm not sure if that video will come out before this video, but it's already done. Once they are dry, I take them down to my garage and pull out my orbital sander and then give them all a good sanding. And then once those are uh, wiped away. I just take on these two pieces my antiquing wax mixed with clear wax to just bring out the wood pieces and then that just darkens up and rich enriches the uh, paint and makes it look a little bit more vintage which is just the feel I like. If you don't like that you can obviously just do a clear wax or skip that step altogether. I especially liked it on the sheep so I think that gives it a good dimension and then I just took my glue gun. It happened to have fabric glue in it, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal since this is just going to sit on a shelf somewhere. And then I just attached the face to the body, um, leaving, I, I should have left the little piece of the body unpainted, but I, again, I don't think it's going to matter much for this particular piece. So here it is on my mantle. Very sweet. And then um, I just, I had already had a couple of little sheep decor pieces in my home so I decided to just display it next to that and this is just adorable so I think that'll be really cute at Easter time specifically and then the bowl I put uh, I had gotten that cute little birdhouse at the dump I think at the, my last haul and then if you didn't see this um, riser flip that riser flip is in the one of the most recent videos that I've posted as well as this basket if you want to go back and check that out love 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 the way these risers came out they're one of my favorite pieces and so then I just showed it with some keys and change in it which is probably what it will end up being used as a little catch-all taking me on to the white crate it's already white so I decided this is great I cleaned it it was in good shape I don't need to paint it again so I had gone and purchased some decoupage napkins and I will try to remember to link where I got those and um, I just added some Mod Podge to the both of the long sides of the crate and uh, took the first ply of the napkin and attached that to both sides. I love this napkin. It looks very similar to a transfer that I have that I think might be Prima Redesign, one of the bird transfers that I really, really like. But it's expensive to use a transfer, especially on something as inexpensive as a free crate. So I like the napkin alternative because the napkins are about 50, 60 cents a piece. Now, once that is fully dry, I just took a, like a toenail sander and just sanded away the excess napkin um, all the way around so that uh, this would be finished and then once I'm done with that I have this bird stamp um, and my friend Nancy had just given me a bunch of pretty different colored inks um, that she got at a yard sale and this one had kind of a pinky purple um, color to it so I put that on a part of the bird to stamp now this came out a little bit light because my stamp I must not have cleaned it fully, uh, so it still had a little bit of black ink from the last time I had used it. Um, but I think altogether it, it came out um, cute. It, and I also took that same ink pad and I went around the outside edges um, of the entire crate to give that more of a dry brushed, a purpley pink colored paint all the way around. And that is how this came out. I love this color tone here for the end of summer. Now I'm on to my absolute favorite trash to treasure, this green metal toolbox. Needed a real good scrubbing. I wanted to keep the green color that I had uh, on it um, instead of painting it. And I took out some of the scraps of the IOD uh, floral transfer that I have left and just added some of the bits and pieces here and there. I added some of the extra leaves that I had at the bottom and then I went through to see if I had any um, script pieces. I did get a couple of pieces of script I tried to uh, add to the green but it didn't show up as well as I liked especially on camera. You can see it a little bit um, in person and then I just added 
some of the last bits of peony and then once I was finished with that I found one more script piece to put over the white flower just to have that be a little bit more visible and I would love to know which of these two metal toolboxes are your favorite the robin's egg blue or this green um, this one is absolutely my favorite I'm going to keep this one I will sell the other one in my upcoming um, sale but um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this I think it matches my craft room well enough that I might be able to do to maybe put my paintbrushes or something in there let me know what you think of that and which of today's projects is your favorite thank you so much for stopping by I will see you in the next one make sure you hit subscribe take care bye bye